What's going on, everybody? Ah. Uh, Gotta make sure y'all we're in frame here. All right, so I've done this for three evenings in a row. Uh, was going to give my thoughts on the rip saw, blah, 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 and all that. And uh, I put a short up of the torque test, and I have a long video of me just running them and some more videos uh, to come of me running the saws in different forms and fashions. But I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to scoot y'all back just a little bit, rather. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get it right here in a minute. But I'm going to put, and I'm going to put those videos out. And in no way, shape, or form am I doing these comparison videos to uh, bash a company or a saw builder. Of course, you know, Cajun's my builder for, for sure. Him and Aaron, and uh, soon to be John Bob. I love their style of porting. And there's other guys that port that way, you know. Uh, and if they don't port exactly the same, they make saws run really, really good. You know, I watch a lot of saw channels. Uh, Kevin LeVanway, Tree Monkey, Mastermind, uh, tons more. You know, I watch the Novice Lumberjack. What about that old Novice Lumberjack? He's, uh, he's putting it on it. Pretty thick, ain't he? With the whole iron horse deal. But anyway, so... I'm just giving another thought or another opinion and another view versus uh, the big YouTubers just saying rip saw, rip saw, rip saw. And I get that uh, they, you know, uh, they're promoting them or whatever. Uh, I don't have a problem with that at all and I'm not trying to pick a fight with them guys either. Uh, you know, Bucking does run a rip saw. He's got many rip saws. I have another rip saw coming. I've ordered a 500i from him uh, that I personally ordered myself. I'm going to run it against the Iron A. Lynch 500i just like I did these two. I bought this rip saw off of eBay. To uh, say that I directly got it from them would be a lie. But the guy uh, on the post showed a receipt, uh, showed all the info on it where he bought it, he's from Pennsylvania, the saw came from Pennsylvania, so for me to, it's pretty easy for me to believe it's a rip saw. It has been ported, it's got a plug in it. Uh, you know, so, uh, and it's a decent running saw. It's not terrible running. Uh, in the first video, the long video I put out, uh, many people, and, and I knew this was going to happen. Uh, many people, I feel like, are going to think the saws ran uh, pretty close together. And for the most part, they did. The, the part that you can't tell is how hard I'm leaning on the saw, uh, for, for instance. And uh, what I'm saying is, when I cut with both the saws, I try to keep them in the power band, and if not, I leaned on the Cajun belt 400 a little harder because I knew I could. I bear on them, and it, and it still cut the same. So I'm saying all that to say this, uh, the Cajun belt saw has more torque. Uh, does that necessarily mean the rip saw is a terrible saw? No, it's just not as torquey as the Cajun belt saw. Uh, and so, you know, that's kind of what I was wanting to, wanting to see and uh, give my thoughts on. So, the saw does run good. You know, it, it's a decent cutting saw, which I think the 400's cut pretty decent stock. Uh, these saws are both ported. I put bark boxes on both of them. Uh, the only thing that ain't real clear, I know the guy said he cut a triaxial uh, load of firewood with it. I don't know if he cut that much, how many tanks he ran through it, if it's broken or not. I know the 400 that I got from Cajun is, I've done quite a bit of cutting with it. Uh, not so much since it's been ported, but before I sent it, you know, I've cut with it uh, quite a bit. And so, you know, I put a short out. Uh, they both was running two foot bars, 
25 inch bar if you're a steel guy. And then I put in a hard maple long ways, the rip cut, you know, the, the long ways cut, because up there I didn't have any firewood rounds that was uh, big enough to sink the bar in uh, that I could get a hold of real easy. So I turned it long ways and uh, it looks like in that short even that I lean on the rip saw harder than I do the, the, the Cajun belt saw. But the deal is with the Cajun belt saw, when I put that full wrap on, I got the big, uh, I ordered the big rubber like suspension uh, grommet to go in the, the front here. Well, it's got, I'm working on these. I'm putting different orders, but I ordered the big, big rubber foam like what you would get for the 462 or the 500i, and I put it in this 400. So that, the Cajun 400 is a little stiffer. It's not as floppy as this one. Which this rib saw will soon get there, you know. Uh, it will soon be to the point, pretty well set up, just like my Cajun built one. And that's the deal, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to be as fair as I can with them. Because I bought the saw, I don't want it to fail. Uh, you know, apparently I don't want to pay money for a saw and then it'd be a just absolute turd. And I and I went ahead and ordered full wrap. I, I put a high output, well not the highest output, but I put a uh, regular 461 oiler in it instead of the, the smaller oiler. And then I went ahead and ordered a, I'm gonna put the high output in the Cajun belt one, the high, high output one in the Cajun belt one because uh, it does have a little more torque. Uh, but they're both good running saws. They both start back really good. But here's the deal. Uh, you just simply can lean on that Cajun belt one more than you can uh, the rip saw. So if you keep them in the power band and you're running a short bar cutting smaller wood, uh, both of the saws are probably gonna perform pretty close to the same. Uh, but if you have a hungry chain a little longer bar or in bigger wood, uh, you're gonna have to baby the rip saw a little more uh, to get it to cut fast, uh, as you can see in the short. So, and like I say, I just done this, I'm doing these comparisons because I wanna know, cause there's so much out there. You have so many big YouTubers. Oh yeah, this guy's great, this guy's great, these people are great, but you don't ever see them run saws against anything you know uh you just see them little clippage cutting and yeah they look like they kept pretty good but to me the deal is you can dang near make any saw uh look like it cuts good uh depending on your chain setup depending on what kind of wood you're cutting and it's might near impossible to tell how hard somebody is leaning on a saw through a video i don't care if it looks like they're just Ah, you know straining their guts out or whatever they may be just doing that you know what I mean uh, to me a lot of times I don't look at the person I look at the saw you look at that short and you can tell when the gas tank goes up to the the body or the case halves or the cases it gets tighter so you can tell I'm leaning on the saw no doubt about it you look at the crack the Cajun one don't go as far because it's a stiffer saw this one's not yet, but it's getting there. I'm, you know, I'm going to do that. But I did this video to, to show another side because here's the deal. You got three big YouTubers promoting Ripsaw. And then there's a Evergreen Organics or something like that. He's got a 261 from them and a 661 or a 660. And he says they run good, but he don't compare it to nothing. He just shows it cutting. And they do look like they cut good. I'm not disputing that fact. But I had to know for myself and I'm trying to share with other people what you get and the pros and cons, okay? And I don't have a problem. I promote Cajun and Aaron every video, just about. I mention their name. And the reason I do that is because I've got several saws from them. I run their saws, you know, more than a tank or two. I've ran, you know, ever since I've got the first saw back, I've either ran an Aaron, a lynch belt saw or a Cajun belt saw. 
uh, when I've done cutting. And so, you know, I understand promoting your builder or promoting a company that you enjoy. I do. Uh, and Buckin does that, you know, he has their saws. But the other two, to my knowledge, unless they've done it off camera or done it, you know, somehow or another, I don't know that they've ran a rip saw, but yet they're promoting them. But they're all, uh, you know, one of them's all decked out in hoodie shirts and all that. And, uh, you know, the other one supposedly was going to get a 500i from them. You know, that's not my business. That is what it is. And I understand promoting people that, you know, possibly give you stuff. And I understand taking, you know, if I got a buddy and he gets a saw from, just say if he got a saw from Ripsaw and he said, boy, this thing cuts good, I would take his word for it, you know. I might even get on here and tell you, I've got a buddy that's got one of those saws that cuts really, really good. But I would say it just like that. I wouldn't just say, I've talked to them, I know they do good work, I know they do this and they do that and blah, 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 blah. Uh, they're the best thing to port and saw since sliced bread. I wouldn't do that. Unless I got one of their saws and and ran it. So, anyway, now that I've got, you know, said that little piece, I'm not saying the rip saw runs bad. It it runs pretty decent. Me and Cajun talked about it earlier, earlier today. Uh, you know, uh, it did not fall on its face. It did not perform... Uh, terribly bad and from the looks of it in the video you know like one guy commented they look like they ran pretty close they did look like they ran pretty close but it was because it was the way I was running them if I had been leaning on and I didn't time them because you know timing's not everything speed's not everything I mean it's a lot it helps out but you know uh, depends on what you're wanting to do with the saw but I cut with them to where they try to stay up on the RPMs. And there's some of it, you know, that I did bog on them and whatnot. Uh, but it just is what it is. Uh, what I had in mind in doing this video was going to be talking about the pros and cons. And, you know, here's the deal. If I never... Uh, or if Aaron and Cajun quit porting saws, or if I couldn't find nobody else to port saws for me, uh, that custom builds, uh, would I order a saw from it, rip saw? Certainly. Uh, after I get this 500i, will I order any more saws from them? Probably not, because I've got two guys that build really, really good strong saws that perform well, they start good, they cut good, and you know, they're they're a, a good all-around saw uh, and they build them the way I like them and that's what I'm going to get into here the pros and cons of, of each route you can take in this this ordeal here all right so here's the deal uh, let's talk money first uh, I think new the guy that bought well I think I looked on Ripsaw's website the other day a new or a ported 400C from them cost uh, $1,600. Okay, I bought mine, I think I got, like had like $999 or 950 a 1000 something like that in my 400. And then you say, uh, by the time you pay shipping one way and the porting, you know, I might have 1350 to 1450 in it. Uh, depending on shipping rates and all that. So it's $150 to $200 cheaper. And on the 500i, you know, which I get a discount, that's why, you know, I buy my saws and uh, typically I get 10% off and sometimes tax it off. So, you know, uh, the at the time I bought my 500, I think it was at $1,450 or uh, 1500 So I got 150 bucks off of it. Uh, which would have been right around 1300 1350 bucks and then by the time I sent it to get ported same deal three hundred to four hundred fifty dollars depending on shipping uh, typically my builders charge you know I paid to ship it there they charge me a price and that covers their port work and shipping back 
And so I think I'm about 1600 bucks in it. And I think Ripsaw's the one order uh, from them. It was north of 2000. So, I, and they may have to give more money for their saws than what I can get them for. I have no idea. I'm just telling you how I can get it. You, their prices may be uh, pretty cheap to you. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you what's a good price for you and what's not. To me, they're a little expensive. All right, the second thing. Custom builders versus somebody that builds across the board. Okay, I understand why their saw may not be as hot as Aaron's or, or Cajun's. And I don't know about the 500 i yet. I understand that there's some saws that a builder can get a little more out of than other saws. They may be able to get a little more out of a 500 than they can a 400, you know. We'll see when it gets here. That'll be another story here in a minute. I'll tell you when I ordered it and how long it took. So, you know, uh, custom builders. I understand why, you know, their saw may not be as hot as Cajun's because they're building the saw across the board for the majority public. They don't know if somebody's gonna get their saw that don't know how to sharpen a chain, don't know how to cut, blah, 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 blah. They're taking a big chance on that. I understand that. I don't know how they warranty their work either. I'm sure they got some kind of warranty. I would think so. Uh, that'd be something for you to look into. I'm pretty sure either one of my guys, uh, you know, if I got the saw back in one day and something flew apart, or it even, you know, a couple, two or three weeks, or maybe even longer, I ain't really never had that problem, so it's never arisen, you know. But they would take, they would make it good, is what I'm getting at. Uh, so, the deal is, getting a custom builder, uh, they can build and tailor more towards your needs. And Aaron and Cajun both, when I send them a saw, they run it stock. You can see their videos. They'll get, you know, they'll get the, or anybody's videos that they're building for, they'll get a saw, uh, run it stock, see where it's lacking to them at. And then when they first started building saws for me, they don't do it so much anymore. Sometimes they do if it's, you know, a different kind of build. Uh, but they'll ask me, what, what's your plans with it? What, how do you plan on cutting with it? What do you want to do with it? And 99% of the time, or 99.9% .9 of the time, I tell them I want torque. I like torque, I'm gonna run a 28 inch bar in hardwoods. A two foot to 30 inch hardwood uh, takes torque, just like somebody out on the west coast cutting a four or five foot tree. Because the wood over here typically is, is double and sometimes triple the hardness of, of what the furs and whatnot is you know, the wood out there. And I'm not saying they don't have hardwoods, don't get me wrong. I know, everything, and we have softwoods, but I'm just saying in the majority. And so they build custom to what I want. And that's why that saw's got torque. And it still has pretty good chain speed. That's why they look pretty close. That thing's pumping out tons of torque and he sacrificed no chain speed whatsoever to get it. All right, the third thing is, turnaround time. All right, I ordered my 500i from Ripsaw and they acknowledged it. I ordered it on April the 23rd. They acknowledged it on that Monday, the 24th of April. And now it's June the uh, 9th or 7th or 8th or something, I don't know. Uh, about a week after the 4th. Uh, see, Tuesday was the 4th. The 8th, I think, is the day. So, 8th or 9th. Uh, anyhow, and I understand that because in, in their little clip that went over, they said uh, lead time was 8 to 10 weeks. We're starting to close in on the 8 to 10 week mark, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, a week, two weeks ago. They sent an email out. All current orders or previous orders made. Uh, lead time is now 11 to 13 weeks. And I get it, everybody gets busy. 
whatever, as long as they keep you updated. Now, if we get into the six month mark, now I might start getting a little testy about it because they've, you know, they've uh, changed what they've done. And so the deal is with Aaron and Cajun and all them, I send them a saw, they run it, include my ship there, and them shipping it back at the longest, and this is very long and kind of exaggerating, probably three weeks, I, you know, is about the most it's took. And sometimes they got a few more saws to do, and they'll tell me, you know, it may be a week, week, week or two before I get to your saw, uh, but they don't dally once they get it, you know, they get on it pretty quick. And not all, you know, not all builders are that quick. I've had some tell me before, you know, it'll be a couple months before I can get to you. So important saws, if they're any kind at all, a lot of times, you know, you're going to have to wait at least two, three weeks a month, something like that, you know, or they're really fast. So that's one, one way to look at it. And other than that, that's about all I got on that because, you know, they're good running saws, both of them. One's just outperforming the other one by a little bit. And I've got multiple videos coming out. They're going to be coming out, you know, of me cutting with them and this and that. And they'll be, uh, you know, in different forms. And the reason why I'm not timing them and I'm just doing different kind of cutting is because I'm trying to forget that I'm comparing the saws. Uh, that way you can really see how the saw performs without me trying to uh, make my favorite saw look better. Because no doubt about it, no lies here to tell, I'm, I'm pulling for Cajun and Aaron, no doubt about it. You know, I just am because they're, they're my, my builders, they're my friends. And so, you know, that's why I, you know, all my light, there, you know, the first day I cut with this, I tried to pull up on this saw like I was that one. I'd kill it every time. I didn't put that video up because I didn't want people to think that I was purposely making this thing look bad. It took me a couple of days to try to figure out how to make a video showing the torque and how much you can lean on it without me absolutely trying to, you know, without me, uh, making y'all think that I was trying to make it look bad. So I got the thing, I thought, well, I'll put a three foot bar on them, run them long ways, just let the saw eat, put a pretty hungry chain on it, let the saw eat. And I thought, no, I'll just do a two foot bar and uh, I'll apply steady pressure and we'll see which one gets through faster. And, and of course, you know, I didn't time it, but by the looks of it, you know, the Cajun one done that. Now, if you're cutting smaller wood, you know, like my hand size, like in that video, and you're not leaning on them, then they're, they're two pretty comparable saws. But, uh, you know, the deal is with Cajuns, if I wanted to throw a 32 inch bar on it, I'm pretty certain I could throw a 32 inch bar on it and they'd pull it just fine, you know. Uh, Brian Two Bears, I don't know if he's got his stock or if it's ported or had a little work done to it, but I think he's got his forearm. See, he's got a video out of it. It's pulling like a 42 inch bar or something. Uh, the oilers, the only, the only complaint I have about these 400s, and it's not nothing to do with building, but it's just steel, is I don't like the plastic handle, and I think the oilers are a little uh, weak for, for a near 70 cc saw. And I've got a video out showing oiler, but I was wrong. I call it a 462 oiler. It's actually the 044, 440, 441, uh, 046, 460, 461 oiler that will interchange with these. Uh, not the 462. It might, but I don't think so. So I was wrong about that. I just noticed that the other day. I was going back trying to look uh, when I found these, <laughs> when I was ordering oilers for these saws. So uh here's the deal if i was going to try to make this saw look bad and then get rid of it or whatever or just buy it to make it look bad i wouldn't have spent the money on the west coast clutch cover i wouldn't have bought the west coast dogs i wouldn't have put the bark box on it i wouldn't order the full wrap for it you know all that kind of stuff 
So I'm not trying to make the saw be bad or look bad. I ain't getting these two saws just to uh, make them look bad and try to undermine all the big YouTubers and then sell them or get rid of them or whatever. Uh, you know, I'll use them for a good strong backup if something ever happens to the two that I'm running now. You know, I've got, while I'm waiting on them, sending them back there and occasionally they're getting fixed, I'll run these or something, you know what I mean? Uh, or if I'm running in smaller wood or something, a shorter bar, I'll run, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm not trying to sabotage them is what I'm getting at. Uh, and I know uh, they're getting publicity from this just like they are anything, whether it's good or bad. Uh, bad publicity is publicity. So, you know, I don't have a, real, a really, really big channel, but it's not just terribly small either, but you know, uh, it's terribly small compared to some. And uh, my opinion is just my opinion, but that's my thoughts on it. It's a decent run saw. It's not, you know, I wouldn't throw it away or, or toss it to the side and run a stock saw. Uh, you know, what I was getting at is, there's some people out there that port saws that actually make them run worse than they were stock. I, I truly believe that, and I don't know that I haven't ran uh, saws like that in the past, uh, or seen saws like that run in the past. Uh, and I was mainly just checking to see if these these were like that, you know what I mean, in a way. And if they were, I was gonna let people know uh, if they're a bad saw. Are they a bad saw? No, I mean, most most everybody, if if I'd never ran a, a Cajun Belt 400, I'd probably be pretty pretty happy with that saw. Uh, but, you know, Cajun knocked that 400 out of the park. It's it's a really, really strong saw. And, we, and we'll do, we're gonna do further testing on them, running them, and uh, we're gonna do the 500i when it gets here. Uh, we're on the, well, however, whatever, how long it is from the 24th to, to July, whatever. Uh, May 24th, June 24th, there's eight weeks. We're at, you know, right at 10, 11 weeks. So uh, it should be getting here uh, sometime in the middle of this month at the latest, uh, middle of the end of this month at the latest or sooner. So if it's don't get delayed again and that's one thing too you know uh the bigger they get the the more the weight's going to be unless they hire more people and when you hire more people then you start having quality control issues as to where aaron and cajun i know when i send my saw to aaron or cajun aaron and cajun is going to be working on my saw uh, and they might not ha never hire nobody they may get a whole lot faster and or they may uh, just not take on as many saws. I have no idea. So, anyhow, and I think this saw was a saw that was purchased uh, in 21 August or October of 21 or 22. So, anyway, that's all I got. We'll catch y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe.